Shouldn't I jump down your throat like that? Well, um, I think I know how you can make it up to me. Give me whatever is in that bag. Oh, sugar cookies from Aunt Polly's Bakery? These are my new obsession. How did you know that? Uh, you might have mentioned it two or three times during the concert in the park. I think you referred to them as your true love. <laughs> That's true. I am in love, and one bite you will be, too. Mm. Let's go together. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, look, Maxie, uh, I think that we both know that we're not in a place to uh, get involved. And, uh, but I still care about you, you know? And um, I still want us to be friends. A month early. This kid sure is raring to go. <laughs> and I don't blame you. There's so much to see out there, so much more than these four walls in here. <laughs> Personally, I'd settle for a sunset in San Tropez, but don't you settle for anything. If you want to run with the bulls in Pamplona, my hat's off to you. Don't let anyone hold you back. Believe me, your parents will try. Mm -hmm. You just go out there and live every day as if it's your last, because you never know when that could be. Oh. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. <laughs> Not that she's biased or anything. <laughs> I can take him to the nursery so you can get some sleep. Uh, I could just stare at him all day. What, would it be okay if he, he stayed in here with us tonight? Sure. I just have to finish up some paperwork to make everything official. Can you read me out the numbers so I can match the numbers on the ID bracelet? Okay. Yeah. Two, four, five, five, six, six. Let me get your foot, buddy. And the babies? Uh, two, four, five, five, six, six. 